Hi, I'm April Newton and I'm the owner and inventor of Pup Anchors. This instructional video is to show you how to properly install your Pup Anchor into your vehicle. Let me show you how to do it. This is a Pup Anchor and I'm going to show you the different parts of it and then we're going to show you how to install it. This is the Pup Anchor logo and this is always going to be the top part so you always know that it's facing forward. These are the end straps and they have buckles and this is the center strap. The center strap has three loops. You've got a short loop, a medium loop, and a long loop. And then it also comes with a carabiner clip. On the inside, I'm gonna open up the pup anchor, loosen the center strap, and on the inside, it's like a tube. There's also padding, and this is where our seat belt is gonna lay in there and we're gonna sandwich that in. Open the pup anchor by unbuckling the end straps and loosen the center strap. Slide your hand through the center of the pup anchor. This is like a tube. Grab the vehicle seat belt latch and pull it through the pup anchor. Insert the seat belt latch into its buckle, making sure the seat belt is securely fastened. Place the seat belt, which includes the lap belt and shoulder strap combined, into the interior padding so that it lays flat. Fold over the pup anchor so that the seat belt is contained. Fasten the end straps using the buckles. Ensure that the logo, the buckles, and the center strap face forward. Pull the slack out of the seat belt shoulder strap until the pup anchor is tight against the vehicle seat. Make sure that the center strap is fed through the center strap loop. Select the appropriate center strap loop to suit your pet's size. A good rule of thumb is to measure the center strap such that when it's connected to a pet's harness, their neck and head do not extend past the edge of the seat. Then attach the carabiner hook to your pet's favorite harness. For small dogs and puppies, only use the shortest center strap. We don't want our little darlings falling off the seat. Again, make sure that their head does not go past the edge of the seat. Attach the hook to the harness. There will be excess center strap material. You may tuck the extra strap in the back of the pup anchor or wrap the extra strap around and then hook the loop. This is for a cleaner look and enforced durability. Medium dogs can use the middle center strap loop or place the hook on the longer center strap loop and back feed it through the harness and attach the carabiner hook to the shortest loop. Large dogs can use the longest center strap loop or back feed the hook through the harness and attach to the medium loop. By back feeding the center strap, you can add durability and relieve some stress off the carabiner hook. This can increase the protection for your pet in case of an accident. The pup anchor is also really easy to remove. The best way to do it is unbuckle your end straps, loosen your center strap, unbuckle your latch, voila! It is out. 